गाइज वेलकम बैक लीना हाउ यू गाइज डूइंग आई होप एवरी वन इज डूइंग रियली वेल सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टॉक अबाउट अ रियली इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विच इज ऑयलिंग योर बेली बटन सो गाइज डिड यू नो ऑयलिंग योर बेली बटन हैज सो मेनी बेनिफिट्स आई नो इट साउंड क्रेजी बट एक्चुअली ट्रू सो द फर्स्ट बेनिफिट इज इट विल क्लियर योर बेली बटन दैर वोट बी एनी डर्ट I know we don't really concentrate on our belly button. We are like it's just there, you know. Nobody really thinks about it. But you know what? If you put a little bit of coconut oil, it will help your belly button clean. It will be really clean. The second one is uh, if you have stomach pain, this is like my dadi na dadi maas nuske. Just apply castor oil onto your belly button and leave it, and just lie down for about 10 to 15 minutes. Your belly pain, your stomach pain will actually go. and uh, the third one is if you have any uh, menstrual pain that's really or uh, this is really good too so you can apply castor oil or a parachute oil onto your belly button and did you know applying coconut oil is really good for your uh, vision uh, it's not only for your head and your body you can also apply it on your belly button let it stay for about 10, 5 to 10 minutes this will improve your vision and it will also you know help in your skin it would really make your skin shine and the last one is guys if you have joint pain or even if your parents your grandparents if they have joint pain you can tell them this apply some oil or castor oil castor oil or coconut oil onto your belly button there won't be any joint pains so guys these were a few tips on how you can take care of your health and your body Uh, apply oil on your belly button and see the difference and let me know in the comment section below if this really helped you guys and uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel please subscribe and i'm also on instagram go follow me there it's called lena gauda official and i will see you later guys bye you guys have you know send me so many comments so many messages yes you've guessed it right it's the college makeup look So I don't really know how much of makeup you are allowed to apply, uh, you know, for school or college. But uh, when I was in school, uh, I'm not trying to influence you all, but I used to apply uh, kajal and mascara and a little bit of compact before going to school. I, I mean, I loved makeup. So it depends on you all, in, on uh, you know, in the, every individual. If you guys like to apply makeup or no, I am not trying to influence you to you know apply all these things. But this is just an idea for you guys uh, that you know you all could could do this or you know or maybe just apply a little bit bit of these products and you know you'll feel good and you'll look good. And of course, college mein to saari ladke pad jayenge. So guys, let's start now. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is moisturize my face, and for that I'll be using this Johnson's baby cream. So uh, this cream can be uh, used by anyone. Of course, the baby cream so won't harm your skin, and especially y'all are teenagers uh, who are going to school or college, so you need to take care of your skin from now. So this is a really nice mild cream. So I'm gonna apply it. Once that's done, guys, sunscreen is really important if you're in school, college, working, anything. Even if you go before, uh, you know, before going to school, please apply a sunscreen. It'll really, uh, you know, help your skin and won't damage your skin. So for that, I'm going to be using the Lotus Safe Sun uh, Sunblock. So this is the SPF 30, good enough for you all. and uh, you know it's sweat proof it's non greasy so even if you're playing and college traveling everything nothing's going to happen the uh, sunblock will stay for long so i'm going to apply this even if you guys don't apply makeup please don't forget to apply a sunscreen So after applying the sunscreen moving on to 
my foundation so uh, you all can apply a bb cream or a foundation but a fo applying foundation every every day won't be that great for your skin so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mix uh, my foundation this is the maybelline uh, 24 hour stay foundation but um, you know you all can get a bb cream which will be better for your skin so i'm just going to take this foundation and mix it with a little bit of johnson's baby cream so i'm going to take johnson's baby cream or else if you don't want to apply this separately you can just mix your sunblock with the foundation that'll be easier so this will give you a light coverage Once you've mixed it, just apply it on your face. See, this gives you a light coverage, but then um, it'll moisturize your skin. So once I've applied my foundation, I'm moving on to the eyeshadow and for that I'll be using this Essence Matte Blush. So guys, you can use any uh, uh, blush or you know any eyeshadow, you can apply it on your eyeshadow and your cheese, cheeks as well or else you can also use the lipstick. So I'm just going to take a little bit of product and I'm going to apply it on my eyelid. This is completely optional. Optional. You can just apply mascara and ka kajal as well. So once I've applied my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using this kajal, which is by Lakme. Y'all can apply kajal or just apply mascara, depends on y'all completely. So guys, once I've applied my kajal, I'll be applying the mascara and this is from Maybelline again this is the Maybelline Absolute Mascara guys eyes are done now uh, depending on your eyebrow growth uh, I like to do my brows every day so I'm going to do my brows with this benefit zinc brow you all can also try the Miss Claire or Maybelline eyebrow kit or the eyebrow pencil which is easier for y'all I don't personally have it right now so I'm going to be applying uh, this this only It. I didn't overdo it, I just, just filled in all the blank space, spaces which was there inside. That's all guys. And now next step is the blush. I think blush looks really good if you don't, you know, apply eyeshadow or anything. Blush looks uh, and, you know, feels really nice, like your skin is really uh, glowing and nice. So I'm going to be using the same Essence uh, blush.
a flat blush. If you don't have a blush, no problem. Y'all can use your lipstick as well on your cheeks. Now moving on to my lipstick, guys. Y'all can either use like a tinted lip balm or you know just use your uh, lipstick. Uh, because you guys are young and I want you guys to protect your lips. So if you're using any lipstick before that, please apply a lip balm. So this is the Nivea lip balm. So I'm gonna be applying this first. Or else y'all can just use the uh, tinted lip balm. You can use Maybelline or even Nivea has the color done. Yeah. And then I'm gonna use only a little bit of lipstick. So don't use a very loud color in college, that doesn't look very good. This is nice nude or pink lipstick is really good. That's it, I just want to keep it really simple. So I'm just going to brush my hair and then use these cute clips and show you my entire look now. I'm ready to go to college. So this is my final look. I hope you guys like it. And if you have any more questions or any college related, any problems, y'all can ask me in the comments down below. And I hope you guys liked this look. Please comment and let me know if you, you know, liked it, you hated, you wanted to do any changes, anything like that. And guys, my personal Instagram is Lena Gouda Official. And for Foxy, there's Foxy Makeup Tips. Go follow me there now and I will see you soon guys. Bye.